It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Commanders, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. Well, this building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A CD, these Commanders, a last place ball club in 2022. Well, in most cases, you'd say that was a lost season, but they finished 8-8-1, eight, eight, and one, 500. That would have won the <laughs> NFC South. What kind of a chance do you give them in what is certainly a loaded NFC East? And you're exactly right about the division, so you have to be cautious about what you think with this team. They've got to continue to play excellent defense and get some improvement on the offensive side of the ball and establish who their quarterback is going to be. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the wait goes on for a Super Bowl appearance. This will be the 28th season since they last won Super Bowl 30 in 1996. Let's add on to that. They haven't even been to an NFC Championship game since 1996. And you know, that does not sit well in the owner's box for the Dallas Cowboys, continuing to try to find their way back to the top of the mountain. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time. And it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. And Dak going to start out going to the air. And his first look is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. On third down, it's Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. That's caught inside the 20. A big play here for Dallas. And even 60 yards. It's early, but announcer cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And Pollard running here down to the six-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Here's Pollard again. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Prescott on third and two. Touchdown, Dak Prescott. 
A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Let's go back over Dak Prescott's career. Six rushing touchdowns in each of his first three years, but only one in each of the last two seasons. As a veteran, he's become much more judicious about when it's time to take the ball and go for the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Pass midfield, look out. He's inside the 20. Touchdown, Washington. From one end zone to the other, 101 yards. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, there you go. They gave up the score to start the game, and as quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Prescott on first down, and it's incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw is Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. You think about the great receivers in the game, what do they have in common? The ability to create separation in their routes. Whether it's a head fake, a sharp cut, selling a different route, the subtle bump, it's a tough skill to teach. And this is well done here to get open and pick up the first down. 
Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. A second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? To the air again, Prescott going right back to Ferguson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's third and four now. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Prescott now. And it is caught. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. On first and 10, Prescott. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And the Commanders are going to have it here at their own 15. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod from commander's leadership to be the team's starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth-round pick. One start as a rookie and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first-round pick, so there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Now they go play action with Hal. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Well, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. And on third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. Here's Hal. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. A fair catch taken back near about the 35 36 yard line a 40 yard punt no return and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10 Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it, an in route, going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Prescott. That's dumped off to Powell. 
And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, and I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Now the second-year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. Marquise Bell in on that stop. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over-pursuing, and making a very nice play. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's easy to celebrate every good run by Robinson because stories don't get much better than his last year. Shot during an attempted robbery just 13 days before the regular season. He made it back by week five and played in 12 games for Washington. Even better, gained almost 800 yards leading the Commanders. Now Hal. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. Out of the gun, it's Howell. This is going to be incomplete. Was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but it'll be second down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now he'll look to throw it. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That would almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. 
And that very nearly a second interception of this first quarter. He's been really loose with the football, and that's going to need to change as this game moves along. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Prescott from the gun. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. First down, Prescott. Over the middle, complete. It's Ferguson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. A first down throw for Prescott. Left side to lay him. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Defensively going forward, they're going to have to watch out for him on plays just like that. It's a drag route across the field, and they're trying to free him up and let him run after the catch. That won't be the last time we see that play, and it works there to pick up a first down. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Prescott. And that's complete downfield to Cooks. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Pollard will take it up the gun. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. For the guys playing defense, this has been a really long drive. And physically, that's awfully taxing. But I think the hardest part is mentally. What do you do? Pollard. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three but could not get the ball over the chalk. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Now here's Pollard. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14-7.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 35, here's a second and eight. Throwing here, Howell. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And Howell will throw it. This one incomplete, probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with the throw to the safety valve, and it's fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. On second down, it's Pollard. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. A great run by Pollard, and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run, and he had his first 1,000-yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. Prescott looks to throw on first. He gets it to Cooks. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Throw is going to be incomplete. But they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage and it led to an incompletion. The Cowboys on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time it's third and three. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. 
That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Now a give here to Pollard. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and three. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards that time. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Off the play fake, Prescott. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Another example there why offensive guards have to really prepare themselves to try and play against Deron Payne. 11 and a half sacks in 2022. He picks up another one there for D.C. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Looking to throw. Prescott. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball to come in his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stuff. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now we got whistles before the snap. Looked like one of the commanders jumped. And that flag accepted. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Faking the handoff. Howell. Caught by Turner. So five yards here. Five on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot.
Now Hal. Work in the middle. Of the and the ball is knocked out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. They'll go with Pollard here on first down to about the 26 here. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Pollard gets it off the option, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. On third down, it's Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A give to Pollard, running left. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. He finds his man, Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. Here's Prescott. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. CeeDee Lamb is intended target, but it'll be second and goal. Running right, it's Pollard. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. It was bidding for a second. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Dak's going to keep it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. No going for two, they'll kick the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to 
A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Now it's Crowder. Now it's Crowder. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. On first down, Hal. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Hal out of the shotgun. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On first and ten, it's Robinson. To about the 35, second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Al now to throw it. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Yeah, no question, he got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time, because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And this offense on third down today, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. Completion here as they fail to connect on third. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well. You know, <laughs> he's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Yeah. 
So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. A second down throw for Prescott. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down right there at the 29-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Now Prescott. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. The Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. there forced the ball free and it's second down that's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football knowing full well he's got a man coming his way full steam and he broke that one up line of scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10 here's how and that'll be off the mark too far out in front and it's incomplete Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now he'll look to throw it. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. When I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset, this is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. Hal to the air on first and 10. Middle of the field, he's got McClellan. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. Powell trying to get his offense to hurry up and get set. They'll throw on first down. Here's Howell. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field, and it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing here, Howell. Open man is Samuel, complete. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half.
And once more, Hal back to the air. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. And Hal will throw it. And that one too wide and incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Sly able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Commanders up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. First down, Hal to throw. Taking a shot for Samuel. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw, Howell. This pass hauled in by Dotson. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, if they have any designs of getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Let's go, let's go. 
So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. A first down throw for Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. No sweat from Montez Sweat that time as he makes that stop look easy. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. That's not good enough. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll run left with Pollard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And six DBs on the field for Washington on third down. Prescott. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. That's the Chase Young we all saw coming out of Ohio State, and no one's questioning the potential of the 2020 Rookie of the Year. The key for him, staying on the field. Help makes this a crucial year for his future in D.C. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now how? That one behind his man, incomplete. Jahan Dotson was the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Looking to throw. Powell. Here's a screen for Robinson. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Ouch. You thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. Samuel caught left side. 
And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a yard. Now they go play action with Howe. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Now throwing on first down here. Buying time to his left. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Al down to throw it. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Commanders are back within a score. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 77 yards on the ground here for Pollard. This is a first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. 
Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field, incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. To the 40 and no further. The razzle-dazzle, though, got him a couple extra on the play. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Third and short yardage, Prescott. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Play action now, Prescott. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. They'll run with Pollard, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. On play action, Prescott. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. To throw is Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The commander's offense returning to the field. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. On first down, Hal. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball 
on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Robinson up the middle, and he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. But well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Here's Tressway now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. And he's caught by Lamb. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Prescott to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. They toss it down to Pollard. Ooh, the juke. 91 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. First down, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. This is where you can try and get a tight end in space. They like this matchup, so they're going to let their two receivers to his outside run simple little short routes, hoping to suck up the secondary. And that'll free up space for their tight end on a corner route to make a big play. First down there, but it's incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and ten upcoming. Prescott yet again. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. 
Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. It's complete, and this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. First down, Hal to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McCoy. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. On first and ten, it's Gibson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And 22 more yards there and another first down. Gibson with the solid pickup there, and the Commanders love using his ability in a variety of roles. Led the team with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards in 2022. He can run it and catch it out of the backfield. Hal to the air on first and 10. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Stephon Gilmore dials the corner blitz and earns the sack. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw. Howell. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He stopped the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air 
has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. So he stopped for no gain. And that will bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Prescott from the gun. It's caught left side by Cooks. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. To the air again, Prescott. Well, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and three. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. That is caught, and they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. Give him 18 on the play. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Prescott drops this underneath for Pollard. Just a gain of a couple there, and it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. And I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball and they're the ones dictating to the defense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Oh, 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Now Hal sets up the screen to Robinson. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. They're looking at third and a few inches. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. On the draw, it's Gibson. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Al now to throw it. His throw incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 36. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing here, Howell. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On third down, here's Gibson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards on the carry, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 
Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Powell. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And Howe will throw it. Dancing to his left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Sam Howell, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Play action now, Prescott. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Pollard. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Third and two. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Now it's Crowder. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. And the Washington offense heading out. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Powell and the Commanders come up now first and ten at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw here is incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. 
Second down throw for Howell. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Mozzie Smith, he fought through to record the sack. Dallas added a huge body to their line, and Smith, a great athlete and potential destroyer from the interior, who really got after him there. In a division like the NFC East, you have to have players like this to plug the middle of your defensive front. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Just a disaster of a series here. Third and long, no one open anywhere. This ball just has to be thrown to the sideline. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Montez Sweat with a tackle. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start. But now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball, getting it away from them, because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. Prescott. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Prescott to throw it. This is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Luke Schoonmaker, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cat, an extra point away from making this a three-score game. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And... I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Point after here, coming up. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. 
Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Second and 10. Al, he'll look to throw it. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Howell. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. Just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Completes it to Samuel, and he will be taken down, but it's a big play and a conversion for Washington on fourth down. Hey, nothing to see here, just your standard fourth down gain of 28 yards, and the drive keeps going. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. First down, Hal to throw. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now looking to throw again. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and it's second down. Faking the handoff, Howell. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. That is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. How from the gun. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders get a bit closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. 
The extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent <laughs> of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical the defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Landover. <laughs>